from Evan. And I think he's gonna enjoy it. Um, well, kinda. It's deep tissue fascia stretching. I say enjoy it, and they say, mm. But in the long term of events, it helps it where they can lift weights a lot easier. Does my tissue feel dehydrated? Um, it's all tight through the joint area, so that's why I was asking about mm -hmm. dehydration because also you turn very pink with the pressure. Mm -hmm. Typically, that's a sign of dehydration. Oh, from flying. Yeah. Uh, just got from flying. Yeah. yeah, it makes a difference. When you had him uh, supplement his hand, what were you uh, feeling for? I'm checking the uh, position of the anterior joint mm -hmm. because it's tight in the very front of the joint where the um, pec major and minor are coming across the chest because uh -huh. it wouldn't let me get into the muscle. And I want to find out why. And when you rotate the hand, it will pull it so that way I can see where it's coming from to make sure he's not got anything else going on. Sometimes I feel like it's good because every day is always eating, eating, eating. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel like it's good to kind of let everything, like let your body really burn through everything and kind of be hungry for a little while. I feel like it's kind of healthy. Yeah. Um, it's like an active fast. So you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're con not so constantly yeah, processing yeah. more meat and food. Yeah. And so I kind of use, sometimes I use travel as, in a, as a reason to do that or make myself do that. Now, before you go to bed tonight, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you need about a gallon and a half of water. Wow, a whole gallon and a half. Mm -hmm. You're very dehydrated, so I can't get the muscles to roll. Okay. So that tells me you're about a half gallon short from two days ago. Wow, wow. Your body tells on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tattoo. <laughs> I haven't seen very much discomfort on your face yet, Evan. No. Gotta, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> uh, legs is a tough one. Hamstrings. No, hamstrings doesn't bother me. Quads, though. Quads, quads, quads and quads. inner thighs. Oh, it hurts. Um, but I can, you know, usually everything else I can take okay. You're not being, you're not taking easy on them like you do on me, I just. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you were injured, there's a difference. <laughs> do you think you'll have any bruising from this, Jess? No. He just turned real bright pink because he's so dehydrated. And he's very pale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to spray it down too. Uh -huh. You feel like a million bucks after you drink the gallon and a half. If you don't drink the water, you'll think I beat you to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you ever see the video with Dennis Wolf with Derek Farnsworth? Are you screaming and everything? Oh, really? Oh, he's screaming. I don't think he could take pain too bad. Dennis? Yeah. Apparently yeah. not. I kind of see it in his training. <laughs> <laughs> well, his training style is uh, kind of, you know. A lot of people use tools now, huh? They use these. I've seen the nubs and everything. Well, it's very dangerous because you can't feel the tissue. You can rip them. Jay Cutler got his bicep right now. Oh, really? Yes. It's dangerous. You don't ever use tools. You feel like from from them using tools with his therapy, that's how he tore his bicep? I would say it gets some nation. I watched all the video and that was I'm very concerned with the tools. Hmm. Inner thigh, inner thigh is bad. You handled that a little better, I think. I take the calf. The calf, I don't know, I don't know. The calf did hurt more, but I prefer, I prefer it for some reason. Because it's further away from the groin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it. We can, you, we can use that one in the beginning. We can use that one in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I was hoping for a good one like that. 
I saw when I was at Flex's house last time, or the mm -hmm. time before last, you had those cups over there. Do you actually use those? Um, I do use those to create circulation. Um, I do the cupping, um, basically to prevent injury as well. Because you can get circulatory into one specific area. Oh. I use them when people are having extreme tightness or, um, because the workouts they're doing like two days. Mm -hmm. But I just use it for the purpose of creating circulatory, then I can go back. You know what that might have been when uh, he was prep when he was prepping for the Olympia, actually. Yes, it was. He so you don't use them regularly. It's more no, more when he's doing the two a days because the recovery. It's harder uh, to recover, and I want to keep the ligaments you know full, so we don't get any injuries. Have you noticed when you've been massaging Evan so far? Have you noticed anything like unusual, like a miss with with Evan, like anything where he's like? Particularly unusual, like when, remember when you were doing me, you noticed in my back I have like the muscle, the difference in muscle. Oh yeah, he's got good muscle density. Yeah, you can, you can see that. Well, I mean, <laughs> the difference is how it feels too. Yeah, oh it feels different. Yeah, it feels different. Each right. body builder feels different. It's grainy in different ways. Um, if they're bigger, taller, more wide structure, it's going to feel deeper into the muscle. Um, but for him, he has more congestion. So that means, I don't know who's been doing deep tissue for you. I have, it's my <laughs> fault, I haven't been going like I should. But we gotta get you on a regular schedule mm -hmm. because you're holding in areas that you shouldn't be holding. Mm -hmm. And that's just coming from not being stretched. The fascia is very important because this what encapsulates every single muscle. We want to get as big as we possibly can, we have to stretch it. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, putting on an old pair of pants that you really love. <laughs> the same idea. When you feel a knot in somebody's back or on a muscle, there's an actual knot in there. What is the knot actually made of? Like, what is that? Um, it can either be waste product from the actual muscle itself, or it can actually just be the muscle where it's, it's um, closed in on itself from the lack of nutrient. He's missed his protein meals today, so it makes the muscle more stringy. Because it's looking for nutrients, the body starts doing this. <clears throat> and if you're not feeding it, it starts to eat your muscle. So you can actually lose a pound of muscle from missing three meals as a bodybuilder. Really? Yeah. The science of it all. <laughs> it's true. Because you bring your package up, people can't bring because of the density. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, like, to you, it's noticeable? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I feel the difference. I've worked in a bunch of different <coughs> skinny bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. And every one of them feels different. Right, right. Really cool. But like I can tell you when you've missed a meal, how much water you've had. Wow. By the way your muscles feel. Even when you're doing the ketosis for a show, I can tell the difference. Really? Mm -hmm. How do how do how do muscles feel for someone who's in ketosis? Um, they feel a little stringy. Mm -hmm. But also too they're hotter. Like when I put pressure across them, uh -huh. they heat up faster. Do you notice less inflammation? Someone yes. who's in ketosis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that too. It helps the inflammation problem. Yeah, I feel like that. Too much does too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually feel pretty thirsty right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to make you a little thirsty because I'm beating you up pretty good. <laughs> it's like you're dehydrating your bike. Because then basically using all the water that you have in your body during the massage because they create heat. Oh yeah. And it makes you use water. 